Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you today? You versus them, your feelings versus their feelings is the card spread of the day. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what the overall energies are. Commitment. Oh, I like it. Commitment is something that is being spoken about at this time. Rescue. What's going on here, Scorpio? Who needs to be rescued? We're going to have to look at this. It looks like somebody's in some sort of hot water here. Although we really see a beautiful uh, waterfall so and a beautiful balloon. So it may not be a serious rescue. It may be more like, will this person come through for me kind of rescue. A deep freeze. Ooh, okay. So something is frozen here. I think I can see what it is, but we're going to look at this. Something is very deeply frozen. And this person wants, this is the way I'm reading this, this person wants commitment, but they may need to be sort of rescued from something that is inside of them that's deeply frozen, or, you know, you're really at an impasse. So let's take a look and see. The Eight of Swords self-imposed restriction has been you in the recent past. You have like locked yourself behind a gate. You don't want to be hurt. You are taking care of the inner sanctum. There's little birds here. This could be as simple as COVID, but the Nine of Wands also says that your person feels as though they perhaps did something. They're defensive. They're not. You both have your walls up. That's what that is. I mean, it's so vis visual, right? Walls up here, walls up here. So that's what I'm seeing. In the recent past, both of you have very, very much been very defensive and not very open with each other. The Ten of Discs. You are feeling as though you could go the distance with this person. This is a card of beauty and marriage and commitment and legacy and something that would be talked about through the ages. You know, it's like, remember when grandma and grandpa blah, blah, blah uh, from the rest of the family and your person's on board with that. This is about you feeling as though they could be your legacy person. And your person's feelings are very much in alignment with that temperance. They're very much, yes, they want that. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. You are definitely on the same page with how you feel about what you want a relationship to sort of leave behind in the world. How you feel or how you see the situation right now, I get the fool card. You're really happy, you know, happy go lucky, let everything, let's just rip, let's just go for it. Your person is coming in hot, honey, I'm coming home. Yes, I'm right here waiting for you. I have these beautiful scorpionic butterflies. I'm out of the chrysalis now is what, what you're saying, Scorpio. That whatever it is that has made you held back, you have, you're in the process of releasing that energy with the full card. Gorgeous. The Nine of Wands. Now this is energy. This is very interesting because your person sees you as very defensive also. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands, you know, very much warriors that are willing to go the distance. This is a warrior who will literally fight to the end, okay? So even though they have their walls up, their walls aren't up as high perhaps as your walls are because this is like a really locks, this is a lockdown gate where this person could hop over that wall. So a very interesting dynamic, Scorpio. But here you are, you're in the same energy. You're like, ooh, there's a tiger. I will defend my beautiful lover. You know, I can be fierce. And that's very much a warrior card also. And look at how your person's feeling about you. They really love the fact that you would defend them. They love the fact that you would come to their rescue. They, oh, it's exceptional. I mean, this lover's card, soulmate card, it really shows me that your person is smitten with you. We have this beautiful little Cupid's arrow tattoo, the lovers. So one of you may have a tattoo in that area of your body. You may discuss getting a tattoo of that sort with time. Whoa, Scorpio, you are coming in like the Knight of Wands. Uh, this energy is not necessarily very welcome by your person. Energies can be vice versa. I, I forget to say that sometimes, but I, you know, because sometimes people write and say, well, that was the other person, but 
this Knight of Wands energy of being a flash in the pan. We see this bear who's kind of a wolf. Gosh, I think it is a wolf. It is a wolf. Um, there's this feeling, Scorpio, that you are afraid of a wolf and your person is too. But the problem is, is that your person may see you as a little bit predatory. So I don't think, you know, because I get this tower card. If you said anything to them like, well, are you a player? That would have shocked them. Any talk about players would have disrupted the developing trust that you guys are building, the two of you are building. The Empress card speaks about the fact that how you see the way forward is to have a lot of activity with babies. <clears throat> I don't always read it this way, but the Empress card, you know, she's getting apples or whatever from the orchard. She's going to go home and bake them. This is all about creating beauty, but very generational because she has a baby on her in her backpack here. And this person is feeling maybe not so inclined, not so inclined to want the focus or too much focus on the relationship to be on children. Now, I don't think they're going to tell you that. It's sort of like, eh. They're in disagreement with you. They're, this is a card of the rebel also. This does not have to always be a card of lying, stealing, cheating. This is also somebody who says, you know, I want to live by my own rules. I'm not going to get into it with you. I'm not going to have a fight, but I will fight sort of passive aggressively in perhaps a sneaky way to not go along with this agenda that you're setting. So I don't see this person willing. This is not a yes person at all, Scorpio, and I think you know that. So, you know, I'm gonna clarify this also. The energy that's hidden between the two of you is a Nine of Cups. You are, look at this card. This is so cute. This gorilla is so happy. This is like there's the moon and the sun and a star. And he, this gorilla is in seventh heaven. I mean, literally seventh heaven, sitting on a beautiful throne of spiritual happiness. It's really, it's beautiful. Now, the energy that your person's bringing in is the emperor reversed. They are stunted emotionally. This person could be immature. They could be narcissistic. I don't see this as a bad person. I really don't. I just see this as a person who may be really locked down into very specific ideas of how they see a relationship happening. It's sort of like there's a little bit of their way or the highway and there's a there's a person this is a person who could be a little bit passive aggressive or manipulative because the emperor upright would be really they would just tell you exactly what they want but reversed with the seven of swords i feel as though they're they're very happy in the relationship as we will look and see but they're not visualizing the relationship like you now, when we look at the Two of Cups, this is where Spirit is telling you, this. the advice of Spirit is love this person for the person they are. This person would fight to the death for you. Both of you would fight to the death for each other, metaphorically speaking. The Two of Cups is a bride and groom. You're very different. And Spirit is telling your other per, your person that they should just, you are their happily ever after. You are the best person that they've ever had. We do see children. So your person is connected to children. I just don't know that it's directly their children. But what I'm seeing is happiness. My God. I mean, this is these are both marriage cards. You know, Spirit is saying, look at the two of you are uniquely and ideally suited for one another. Ten of Cups is literally happily ever after. Nine of Cups is you're really, you love to laugh. This person is really quite funny, even when they're very fierce. I feel as though sometimes this person likes to wrestle with you a little bit with this, with the Nine of Wands and the Lover's card. I feel like there's a little bit of dynamic that they would really love to, you know, sort of if you came out of the shower or something and you had a towel on, to rip the towel off and to be very playful with you, sort of to make, put you in the defensive almost as a lover. There's a little bit of conquest there of a physical nature um, that I think is exciting for both of you. Um, the Two of Cups is really, it's just, I can't even, there, 
this is so gorgeous. Look at this energy. I mean, it is abundant and beautiful and spirit is really blessing this relationship. Your outcome, Scorpio, is the emperor upright. That is your energy. Your person's energy is the ace of wands. You know, it's interesting because your person has some self-awareness here. They understand that you're the better leader. This is their energy here in what's hidden. And they have an innate understanding that they haven't done so well as a leader in a relationship. So though this could be a masculine, a very masculine person, they feel as though you're the one with the wisdom to make this work out. We have a beautiful dragonfly there. Look at that, beautiful tattoos. This is such a spiritual deck, you know, holding the sword of truth, you know, not a chess piece. And the Ace of Wands, this person's gung-ho, this person is in it to win it, throwing caution to the winds, wanting great passion with you. So we're going to take a look and see what is going on with this. Uh, these. So I like this, right? This card is commitment. I mean, Spirit is telling you this is a relationship worthy of commitment, that whatever the problems are can be resolved with temperance. Whatever the love affair is, you know, this person will allow you. What's interesting and I really like about this person is they seem... It's a very masculine energy with these two cards, but I also feel as though this person is very, very sweet. They feel as though they actually need to be rescued from the old hurts and the old, old wounds that have caused a deep freeze in their lives. So they see you as that person who can rescue them, but this is not codependent. Basically, you would rescue them, and the way you would do it is, I call it the Socratic method. Instead of getting angry at them when they do something that you is disruptive, they do something that seems nefarious or sneaky, you're just going to you're going to ask them straight up, hey, what's going on? What's going on with that? I, I'm getting this feeling that, you know, you're defensive or something's gone wrong. Did I say something that bothered you? And, you know, so let's look and see what this person will do. Because to me, with this as your outcome, your person is totally, totally on board with you taking a leadership role as long as it's not... Um, it's not filled with anger, yelling, or anything like that. And I don't see that. I see you as very feisty, very sexy, that you would be very playful with this person, and it actually takes down their defenses. That when things get tough with this person, the Tower card, Scorpio, you understand that making love would actually help them connect with you again. I've never actually said that in a reading, but it is palpable and I have shivers down my arms as I speak that to you. You seem to have an innate understanding and of course, you know, Scorpio, you are the penultimate people who understand sexuality and how important it is in any kind of a relationship as glue that, that helps you stay together. So let's see what this is. Oh, the Queen of Cups. Your person needs nurturance and they're too, they won't ask. They're sneaking around trying to get this beautiful motherly feminine energy from you. They don't want to compete with too many babies. <laughs> but there it is. It's just revealed. The Queen of Cups energy. Look at this. The Ten of Cups when they get that nurturing, sexy version of you who is a gentle leader who inspires their, their the essence of them sexually and as a, you know, mass masculine kinds of energy. Look at this, the karmic release. You've Oh, that's the rescue. That is the rescue, the butterflies. Look at this. This person had karmic energy to release and you are there in spirit to help them release that energy. Scorpio, sending you love from Chicago. What a beautiful reading. Send some love back and tell me where you're from.